Is Earth's rotation speeding up? Why today, July 22nd, may be another of 2025's shortest days? Welcome back everyone. So today is the second day of the year when the Earth is said to be speeding up, or it may be the third. Now I discussed this before in a video about time speeding up something that a lot of people have been noticing or have been feeling lately. Something people have been talking about even before we knew that the Earth was going to be doing this. Now I do believe that sometime in the very near future they are going to start to reveal some things to us. Some documents and artifacts that will cause a shift in the way people view the world. And when that happens it's going to feel like the floodgates have been opened. People will start to question everything, our history, science, religion, and even their own sense of reality. You already see it happening now. You see, moments like this, when the Earth's rotation is changing, when time itself feels off, these things are tied to bigger cosmic shifts. It's like nature is syncing up with disclosure. So whether it's ancient knowledge that's been hidden or new discoveries in space that can no longer be ignored, we're approaching a point where the illusion starts to break apart. And when it does, people will be forced to wake up. And then we'll see who's the first to go run and hide. So let's quickly see what this article has to say about this. As if it's not already hard enough to find the time to do everything you need to do in a day, now you're about to lose another whole millisecond or more. In fact, experts say Tuesday, July 22nd, could end up being the shortest day of all of 2025. If that sounds familiar, it's because an earlier day in July was also expected to be uncharacteristically short. July 9th was the first three days in which a millisecond or more could be shaved off the clock on account of how the moon's position relative to Earth is influencing our planet's rotation. Okay, so with that last statement about the moon, I can already see that they're trying to throw the public off of this. Folks, I've said this time and time again, you can't trust the news. Earth takes 24 hours to complete a full rotation in a standard day, equal to exactly 86,400 seconds. If a standard day is shortened or lengthened by a number of milliseconds, that added or detracted time is referred to as length of day, according to the website Time and Date. Okay, let's see what Time and Date have to say about this. Okay folks, so instead of three days this year, we have four days this year, the Earth has increased its speed. Why three possible dates? Short-term variations in length of day are affected by the orbit of the Moon. Our planet spins quicker when the Moon's position is far to the north or south of Earth's equator. The Moon will be around its maximum distance from Earth's equator uh, the three possible dates for the shortest length of day in 2025. The following links for our moonlight world map show the moon's position, indicated by the moon symbol at 12 UTC on July 9th, July 22nd, and August 5th. Why is all this happening? Why has Earth accelerated and when will it slow down again? These are difficult questions. Long-term variations in Earth's spin speed are affected by a long list of factors that includes the complex motion of Earth's core, oceans, and atmosphere. Nobody expected this, says Leonid Zoltov, a leading authority on Earth rotation at Moscow State University. The cause of this acceleration is not explained. 
Okay, so they don't know why the Earth is speeding up. That's what they're saying here. By the way, they're trying to trick everyone into thinking it's the moon, and it's not. They want you to think that the further away the moon is, the faster the Earth spins. But it's actually the opposite. The closer the moon is, the faster the Earth spins. So the bottom line here is, folks, the news isn't going to give us any answers. And I very much doubt the scientific community is either because of what this may indicate. Now, since 2020, the Earth has done this at least once per year. And this year, it is expected to do it at least four times. If this trend continues, and I already ran the numbers, then next year we should expect the Earth to do this five to seven times. If you go and check the dates when this occurs, the Earth is only doing this when it is close to aphelion, which is the farthest point from the sun in its orbit, which means that the Earth is in a certain location relative to the sun when this happens, which indicates to me that there is something on this side of the sun that is affecting the Earth. The scientists can say whatever they want, that it's the Earth's core, the oceans, the atmosphere, but they'll have to explain why Mars has been doing the same thing since 2018. I'm telling you folks, they are going to run out of excuses pretty soon. Over the last few years, the sun has been acting off. We're seeing massive sunspots appear and vanish almost overnight. The solar flares are coming in stronger and more frequent than expected. Scientists have already admitted we're ahead of schedule for the solar maximum which wasn't supposed to peak until 2025. That alone suggests that solar cycles may be speeding up. So what's causing this? What is strong enough or large enough to disrupt the sun's magnetic rhythm? Since 2017, we've had a Muamua, a interstellar object that didn't just pass through, but actually accelerated in a way that can't be explained. Then came Borisov in 2019, another confirmed interstellar comet. Now we have 3i Atlas on the way, and this thing has smaller objects orbiting it. Add to that a record number of near-Earth objects that are being detected, and many of them coming out of nowhere with very little warning. And all this suggests something might be disturbing the outer edges of our solar system, which could be pushing debris from the Oort cloud or Kuiper belt and flinging it inward. So that kind of disruption could point to a massive unseen body drifting somewhere beyond Neptune. For years now, astronomers have been trying to explain why a group of distant objects beyond Neptune all seem to have oddly clustered orbits. And these orbits tilt the same way and act like they're being influenced by something five to ten times the size of Earth. When you connect the dots, the solar anomalies, the interstellar objects, the increase in NEOs, and the planetary spin changes, it's hard not to at least consider that something big is out there, and it's getting closer. And if that's true, things are going to become very unstable as biblical prophecy has already revealed. Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions could become more frequent, especially in areas already known for seismic activity, like the Pacific Ring of Fire, parts of the Mediterranean and Central Asia. Sinkholes, landslides, and dramatic plate shifts will also start happening more often due to the planet being pulled or compressed in ways we're not used to. Then there's the atmosphere, super storms that seem to appear out of nowhere, strange weather patterns where deserts get snow or summer and winter blending together, changes in Earth's tilt, orbit, more solar radiation affecting the climate and biological systems, including us. Earth's magnetic field is already acting weird. Nature would be our canary in the coal mine, and 
animals react to planetary changes long before we do. We might see more fireballs, strange auroras, reddish skies from dust and plasma. We might see strange new illnesses, mood swings, insomnia, or even mass psychological shifts. People might start having vivid dreams, visions, more spiritual experiences. History shows these moments come with a kind of collective madness. Increased UFO or UAP activity. If something's approaching, we're not going to be the only ones watching. Sightings could spike, triangles, orbs, fast moving lights, and they might not all be ours. Certain beings monitor cosmic cycles like these, especially when something big is about to go down. Ancient prophecies, spiritual texts, and old myths. Some people will find hope, others fear. But one thing's for sure, it's going to force people to ask, who are we? Why are we here? More than ever. And this kind of global awakening could either unite us or just tear us apart. I think what people are going to keep asking about everything they've been waiting for is how much longer. Well, that's all for now. Just a short update on what's going on with time speeding up. Maybe this has something to do with it. Maybe there's something else that has something to do with the feeling of time speeding up. But I'm staying on top of it. Until next time, friends, everyone have a great day. And as always, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe. And I'll talk to you all soon. Every minute of every day, your body heals, repairs, and regenerates you from the inside out. Yet everyday exposure to heavy metals and toxins builds up and blocks your body's natural abilities. Natural zeolite is nature's answer to our toxic body burden. Breakthrough sound wave technology creates the world's first colloidal zeolite. Touch tone essentials Pure Body Extra Colloidal Zeolite helps clean out the chemicals from the body with an easy to use spray so you can make room for healthy in your life. Click the link in the description box below to order your supply of Zeolite today because now is the time to live your best life.